Hello, this is a 304 amp hour EVE cells, uh, lithium ion phosphate cells. And it has a positive terminal, a negative terminal, and also the outside is a blue color uh, insulation sheet, very thin. And inside this sheet is supposed to be an aluminum casing. And in this area, you can see there's a slight exposure of the aluminum casing. So in this video, I'm trying to figure out what is the polarity of the aluminum casing. So the setup I have, it, I have a one ohm uh, resistor here. And also I have a uh, voltmeter here that could measure it down to uh, a millivolt. And then a ammeter here, ammeters are uh, up to 10 amps so this could measure up to 10 amp uh, measure to millivolt and one ohm resistor and a uh, EVE 2 304 amp hour cells so first of all let's measure the voltage of the EVE cells so if I measure the voltage and the cell is uh, 3.287 volt 3.287 volt. Now if I measure the casing voltage against the negative, okay so this is the negative and as you can see negative to negative it's zero volt so that's exactly what we expect. And if we take a look at the aluminum casing and I'm touching the aluminum casing now it's also 3.285 or 2.8 3.286 volts and I look at the positive terminal again 3.287 volt 3.287 volt now let me measure the aluminum casing again 3.286 so it appears that the aluminum casing is uh, in the same voltage level as the uh, positive terminal. Uh, so let's measure the positive against the aluminum casing. So in this area, let me hook up my probe. To the positive and I just use a negative to touch the aluminum casing okay let's do the negative to aluminum casing and it measure 0.8.7 millivolt so indeed there's very little voltage difference between the positive terminal and the aluminum casing so let's put it back and measure the cell voltage, this is the cell voltage and if I measure the aluminum casing one more time again 3.286 volt now let's uh, measure the cell voltage with a 1 ohm resistor current going through the cell so let me touch here and now it's drawing 2.33 amp 2.33 amp because of the resistance in the wiring so it's not the same as uh, the uh, voltage divided by the one ohm because of the additional uh, resistance so it's less than the 3.286 amp that we are expecting and now if the casing is truly the same polarity as the voltage when I touch this it should also measure 2 point some amp like this let me do the measurement again okay 2.3 amps and 3.281 volt on the positive terminal so 
let me touch the casing and see what happened. When I touch the casing, uh, the voltage is only 4 millivolt, even though earlier it was 2.286 volt. And there's no current. There's no current. So the casing is actually not the same voltage level as the positive. And I suspect the casing is actually floating. It's not touching anything, as you can see. And what's interesting is, let me disconnect the the resistor. So I disconnect the resistor. And now look at the voltage, the casing voltage is climbing is climbing so it appears that the casing is like a uh, capacitor is being charged up to after a long time to the same voltage as the positive terminal so uh, this is my speculation that the casing is acting as a capacitor uh, but it's not shorted to neither the negative or the positive terminal. The casing is just like a uh, capacitor and now it's slowly climbing up to 3.26 that we measured earlier. So if you have uh, other ideas, please uh, post your comment and uh, we can uh, learn more about this. And the blue sheet is used to protect the casing uh, from damage or from shortage or whatever whatever it does but even though the casing is exposed to a conductive material it is safe it will not short the battery and that's what I wanted to find out thank you for watching have a good day